Hi guys and welcome to 123MyT's video on how to resolve specific iTunes update and restore errors. Now guys, the reason why I'm doing this video is I've had loads of people ask me about uh, restore errors and when uh, I try to do uh, a video on the restore errors, some people still say they're still having uh, a load of problems. So I'm going to try and go through this. Is, uh, this is the Apple support page. Um, and I'll go through the steps and I'll show you the various ways that you can actually fix, update and restore errors. Okay, so the, it says here on the Apple page, uh, symptoms, when you're backing up or restoring the iPhone, iPad or iPod touch, you might see an error message, here's how to resolve it, okay? So first of all, it's, it gives you a link here where it says uh, use, the, use the basic troubleshooting steps, all right? Now, I'll just run you through these really quick. These are the basic things you can do to try and get rid of any errors that you're having with the iTunes, okay? So the first one is to update uh, your iTunes, all right? So if I start up my iTunes here now, then this goes for Windows and Mac as well, okay? And we've got our iTunes there, and if we go into iTunes up the top and go check for updates, all right, and you can see there now a new version of iTunes 11.1.4 is available. Would you like to download it now? Okay, so that's the first thing you can do. Now this, this window should pop up when you open your iTunes um, and uh, you would just hit you know, download iTunes. So make sure you have the, have the latest version. That's, that's the first thing to do. Um, and, and it's a similar, uh, similar uh, troubleshooting step for Windows as well, guys. Okay, so all right. the next step here is update your operating system. All right, so on a Mac, it's fairly straightforward. You go into the Apple menu and you go into software update. It starts up your app store. Okay, and you can see up here, I've got one updates here and you can see I've got a software update and I can do an update there. All right, so that's the second thing. Once you do the updates, guys, make sure you do a re restart of your machine, okay? That would be my, uh, my next um, bit of advice for you guys as well. Uh, check your uh, computer security software. Now I'm gonna go into this in more detail in a second. I've actually put a tutorial up for it. But essentially what this means is uh, turn off any antivirus that you may, might have that might be blocking in any uh, um, software firewalls that you have on your machine. So when I say software firewalls, if we go into the system preferences, go into security and privacy, all right, here's your firewall here, make sure it's off. Make sure you, your file vault is off. Um, and just turn off any other third party software that you might have like antivirus or um, anything else that could be uh, affecting the iTunes getting out to the Apple servers. Okay, next one is obviously pretty straightforward. Unplug any extra USB devices that you have on your machine. Okay, so uh, so only have your keyboard, your mouse, and your uh, iPhone or your iOS device plugged in. Make sure everything is, else is unplugged. So that goes for hubs. If you've got a USB hub, don't use it. Just, just rule out the USB hub and plug directly in. Okay, um, if it doesn't work, also try a different port on your Mac as well. So if the first port doesn't work, try another one. Okay, step five is to restart your, your device. So just as I mentioned before, after you do an update on your machine, whether it be Windows or Mac, just do a restart of it, okay? And then re also restart your iOS device. Number six is try again, okay? So if we scroll back to the top, just gonna go back to that other page and look at it a bit more in depth. So this, this page here actually gives you all the, all the errors and how to, how to resolve the errors, okay? All right, so these are the advanced steps. The first one is to resolve the communications issues by um, changing, uh, checking your host file. Now guys, I've done two videos on this already. Okay, so if you uh, open up a, a web page, well actually I think I've got it here, go to the 123myt.com website, okay? It'll bring up this page here. There's loads of tutorials and stuff on here you can have a look through. But the ones we want to search for at the moment, we just want to type in error. Oop, and we need to spell it correctly. Error. All right, and just use the search uh, bar in the top, guys. A lot, of the, a lot of the Apple stuff that I've done is on here. All right, so the first one, how to fix iTunes error, blah, blah, blah. Okay, and there's all your errors there. If we go into it, now this is a, a tutorial for Windows. Um, there's a, a, 
a uh, program called IREB, which will which will get it out of the um, like a it's like a, a frozen uh, restore um, mode on on your uh, on your iPhone or your or iOS device. So that will help. IREB will help with that. So go in and have a look at that one if you're getting any of those errors there. The next one is to how to fix iTunes error uh, 3194 on a Mac, okay? Or if you're getting this, this device isn't eligible for request rebuild, if you're getting that error, and how to fix it or how to fix that same error in Windows. Now this is this is an error where the um, the iTunes can't connect to the Apple servers and you need to go in and and, and uh, change your um, change your host file, okay? Um, so let's just go back here. So go and have a look at those if you're getting that next problem. All right, and these are the errors that you you should expect from your um, from your host file, okay? And the two errors that you also will get is there was a problem downloading the software or the device isn't eligible for the requested rebuild. So those are the uh, the error messages that you will get coming up. Okay, configure your security software. Now we spoke a little bit about this before. Okay, so if you've got third-party uh, antivirus software, you can actually disable it. Um, you can right-click on it in the bottom right-hand corner if you're in Windows. Right-click and go disable, and you can disable it for until restart or 10 minutes. It gives you a couple of options there. Do the same within within uh, Mac. You can go into your system preferences, go into the um, go into security and privacy, and change it in there. Okay. The next one here is check USB connections. Now we touched on this briefly before. Okay. It says here if there's an issue with the USB port, cable, dock, or hub, or if the device becomes disconnected during restore, try troubleshooting the USB connection and then troubleshoot your security software. Okay, so essentially, you know, change change your USB connection, change the port on your um, on your PC. If it's not working on one port, change it to the other one. Um, you know, try a different USB cable. You might be having problems with with your cable. Uh, some of them get old and and uh, um, a bit worn out. So try changing those over. Try changing it on a different PC if you don't have a PC or Mac. If you don't have, um, you know, one available, ask a friend if you can try something on theirs. Um, all right, so that's that one there. Now it says to narrow down the issue, you can also change up your hardware. Okay, so as I mentioned before, use another USB cable. Plug in your cable into a different USB port on your computer. Try a different dock connector or no dock at all. Uh, add or remove a USB hub. Check your computer directly uh, to your internet source. So yeah, uh, connect your computer directly to your internet source. So no uh, hubs or routers or switches. Okay, so so if you've got anything funny, um, you know, try directly uh, plugging into your to your um, to your internet uh, router or, or or connection. Okay. Um, check for hardware issues. So try to restore your iOS device two more times with a connected ca ca cable, computer, and network. You know are good. Also confirm your security software and settings allow the communication between your device update services. If you still see an alert when you update or restore, contact Apple support. Okay, so you can actually contact Apple support as well if you're having problems there. And these are the errors that you should probably see if you're having a hardware issue. Okay, so the next one is uh, confirm your iOS version. Okay, so on your, so if you're getting the required resource can't be found error, okay, it says here that you may have a newer version of iOS than is available in the iTunes. So just confirm which, which version you have. You can do that by going into settings, general and about. And virtualization software. So um, on a Mac, I think they have uh, Parallels or VMware. Okay, this is to run Windows uh, or other operating systems on your Mac. Um, generally, the, uh, you want to try and rule out any virtualization software. So don't try it. if you're using a Windows um, and you're having issues. Then then close down your Parallels, close down your VMware, and just try try doing the same step through directly through your Mac. I should say. Now the other thing you can do as well. 
This says get rid of any virtualization software such as Parallels or VMware, virtual machineware. Um, what you can also do is you can follow one of the other tutorials on my on the 123 MyIT website and it's called Bootcamp. Okay, and what it does is it allows you to install uh, Windows uh, directly on your Mac without uh, having a, uh, having to run it in a virtual uh, machine. Okay, so if you uh, go go to the one two three myt dot com website in the top, type in bootcamp b o o t c a m p, and then hit enter. All right, scroll down, and then you'll see how to install Windows Eight Blue on a Mac with uh, with bootcamp step by step. Okay, guys. So this is probably one of the most popular ones at the moment. Okay, you just watch that video, and uh, it will uh, it will show you what you need to what you need to do to install that. Now, you, if you don't have a copy of Windows, um, you can just literally go into the download section. Okay, of the one two three myt website, scroll down, and you will see here uh, here is a copy of Windows eight point one. Uh, downloads so you can get the Windows 8.1 uh, 64 bit from here and the Windows 8.1 32 bit from here as well. You just click on those and there's a serial code for it. Now, guys, this is a um, this version is a preview version from uh, Microsoft, so eventually it will run out and we'll ask you to try and upgrade. However, uh, if you're troubleshooting um, some problem with your iOS device, you can go and install this um, version of Windows and see and, and run your run your restore updates within Windows uh, directly from your Mac. So um, you know it might help you out with some of those problems that you're having. All right, guys. So that's pretty much it from me. Um, I hope it helps out. Uh, don't forget to check out the 123myit.com website and just have a look at the errors and, and videos. Uh, I'm going to try and do some more work, more videos on, on these Apple errors um, that, are, that are stumping people. And uh, hopefully we'll be able to uh, um, fix a few issues that you're having. All right, so uh, that's it from me. Um, if this was helpful, please leave a thumbs up on the video. Don't forget to subscribe and share it around, guys. And thanks for watching. Bye-bye.